What's going on you guys? So I just posted a Litecoin update and in that video I said I want to talk more about this move uh, coming on Bitcoin, which I really am expecting to see something soon. We're seeing pattern consolidate more and more. Um, we'll switch to the daily and then we'll get into the smaller frames here. But it looks as though, I mean, based on uh, what we're seeing, the tight tightness really continuing here, I think we're going to see a move soon. Usually when we see that consolidation, we see a move breaking out of it. So we're gonna talk about that in this video, strictly Bitcoin. If you wanna watch Litecoin video, I just posted a video on Litecoin. Um, very detailed about that. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, all that stuff, and we can just jump right into it. So one of the clear patterns we see here is uh, a broadening descending wedge or a reverse head and shoulders. Either way, both are bullish patterns, both are continuation. Both of them would kind of yield the same breakout uh, scenario. Both of them are very bullish, right? So here would be, here would be the reverse head and shoulders. Uh, so basically like that. So here's the shoulder, head, shoulder, and it's reverse. So as opposed to a normal head and shoulders, it would kind of look like that would be normal head and shoulders, but a reverse is literally just that flipped, okay? I think I just drew that where my camera is. So I don't think you guys saw that. Uh, <laughs> let me move that over here just so I can draw it on this part of the, the video. Yeah, so this would be a normal head and shoulders. And this is a reverse, so it's literally just that flipped. And then usually that is a breakout pattern and or continuation pattern, you see that break upwards. We'll talk a little bit about that in more detail or just like a, kind of breakout scenario there. Um, and then as well, I just had this broadening descending wedge, which is clear here, you see that this line here and this one here, both are usually bullish, both are uh, considered bullish. So in my opinion, this is a very healthy setup uh, and I think we'll probably get a break up soon. So first of all, something I also wanna point out is that the macro trend of the past three months has been very bullish. Um, this isn't even the full chart right here. That actually goes back to April here. So I'm gonna zoom out a little more. You can just see very clearly bullish and upward momentum. That's the macro trend. I think that's gonna continue for the most part. So I think things are gonna remain bullish uh, in the short term, or at least that, the trend that we have to abide by the most, I think is the macro trend. And this is something that's been going on for over three months now. So I think that overall rules everything. Um, and the same thing was true in the bear market of 2018. Uh, many people would say, you know, every time we get to here, many people were trying to be optimistic, but the thing is in the macro trend, which is a very uh, long, I guess I can just draw it here, descending triangle. You've, I'm sure everyone's already seen the descending triangle of 2018 a million times, so I guess I won't draw it there. But it's clearly at the end of that, we broke down and that was just the macro trend. It was very bearish. It was a very bearish pattern. And it ended up with the prices being very low and the, and the price dropping a lot. So now, since April, really breaking out of this ascending, much smaller, but seemingly very powerful ascending triangle, this is what it was right here around this area. Again, I'm sure you've seen this a million times, so I won't draw this as well. Right here, you can see that is seemingly having so much power, already increasing Bitcoin's price over 200% to its current uh, price right now. Uh, Litecoin over 500%. You know, a lot, a lot of, a lot of explosiveness coming out of this move here. And so this is the macro trend now, and I'll just circle that. Basically, this is the macro trend now. So it's smarter, in my opinion, and from what I've learned to kind of stick with the macro trend uh, overall until something else confirms or, or um, confirms a different bias. So for now, I think it would be smart to stick with the macro trend. And then we can just jump into smaller time frames then because with that knowledge, we can use that and say, okay, so what's the macro trend? It's up. All right, so let's look for patterns within that trend. And easily we see this bullish pattern, again, like I just said, the reverse head and shoulders, the descending broadening wedge, whatever you wanna call it, these are both bullish patterns. And so a bullish break probably would be more likely here. Uh, switch to the one hour and you can see, again, you see the, the touches here on the bottom of the um, wedge. And this is also, so the top of my broadening descending wedge is also what people are using as the top of the head and shoulders, which makes, or reverse head and shoulders, which makes sense here. So this line here, again, first shoulder, second shoulder, and the head is actually touching the broadening descending wedge there. And then this one's kind of just, if you're looking at a broadening or a um, reverse head and shoulders, people are just kind of like ignoring this right here um, and this as well. So you see these patterns really consolidating. This is the first shoulder. It's a higher, higher high. 
Uh, and this is a lower high here. So first shoulder, second shoulder, you see this one's clearly uh, less in terms of the price, so it's consolidated. And you can see that very clearly by the line, the top of the, the neckline that's descending there. And the same thing you see here, this pattern is kind of squished as well. You see this first low and then this lower low. So here and here, and you see that kind of getting squished. So with this shoulder, it's, it's pretty open. You see these nice big moves in here. With this shoulder, you see it's a lot more tight. See how tight the trading is within this. And in fact, over the last few hours, you can see just how extremely tight it is right here, right on the 50 moving average on the hourly. On the four hour, not even on it, kind of hovering above it after we broke through it just a few hours ago. Um, and on the daily, I think right now four hours, probably the best uh, indicator, or the shows is the best, but um, on the daily, we're just so so high above the 50 day moving average. It's not even, again, relevant to really track a, um, a pattern like we're using right now. It's just so far above it. Uh, the, the daily 50 moving average is right around like 9,400. So really anything above that would still kind of keep this in play in my opinion, I would say that so very much above the 50 day moving average here. But again, I think the four hour is the best to look at this pattern here. Um, and we're above it right now. So I really do think that a break would be um, likely soon. And I have this target kind of just the, the width of this wedge here, or you could even say the reverse head and shoulders. And that puts it right about to like 14,200 ish, which would be a new higher high. The high originally was 14 K. Well, it was like 13.8 and it almost touched on some exchanges. I think it might've actually touched 14,000. You can see that right here. This is on June 26th. So about a week, almost a week and a half ago. That's if we would break up to here, uh, 14.2 and then continue there. That in my opinion would be just super bullish. And that would be the next big breakout. Like we would, we would, uh, continue and maybe gain, it'd be one of those days where we maybe gain a few thousand in a day. Now, We've had some time to consolidate a little bit. This market's very bullish. But again, looking back, uh, this is kind of a, a rough area right here in terms of we're getting the very top of the highs of Bitcoin, the highest highs of Bitcoin that it's ever had, right? Getting really close to 15, 16K, and then that's very close to 20K, which is the high, the all-time high of Bitcoin. So we're getting into almost uncharted waters here. And if we did have a huge break out of this, reverse head and shoulder, broadening wedge, whatever you wanna call it, if we had a huge break out of that, um, even just a, well, just a 20% increase. That's pretty big. Um, going from 11 K to 14 K is a pretty big, that's about a 14 or a 20% increase. If that would happen, I think that would really just juice the market up. We could see a nice pullback like we did on June 27th, but we already had a pullback like that. So I think the pattern we're in now is kind of setting us up to really break 14 K because we, we technically didn't break 14K. We, we came really close to it and then basically got put into this pattern we're in now, which is seeming to be a very bullish pattern, at least from what, what it looks like on this chart here. And if we get another touch right around 11.7, 11.8 and break through that, yeah, that could be very bullish. And I think uh, things would heat up very quickly there. So taking a look really briefly at the coin market cap, you see, again, nothing really moving too much. Everything about 1% up or down. Everything's kind of locked in place. It's been very, very tight recently. A lot of consolidation. And again, that's usually what we see before a big move. Um, let's go to, yeah, for example, before we hit 14K, this is on the four hour. So you see a pattern kind of shaping up here. It looks almost like an ascending uh, triangle right here, like a very small one on the four hour with kind of a top right around 11K. Uh, right at that line 11k and then you see the the lows getting higher and higher so i guess i can just kind of well i guess i can put that on the screen real quick i think many of you guys can probably see it because it's kind of apparent right here but this line would be the bottom of the triangle and then this line i already have drawn is kind of the top of that triangle um ascending triangle and boom break up. So you see the price get tighter and tighter, and then it kind of breaks above it very rapidly. And what we're seeing now is price getting very tight as well. Usually before all of these huge breaks, you do see pretty tight consolidation like that. Um, for the most part, that's, I think how the market uh, moves. You see consolidation here. This was the big one on April 2nd. So again, 
Um, not to mention, in general, in 2018, the this was the perfect picture of all of that. Was 2018 was, you know, bottom huge increase, bottom slightly smaller increase, bottom uh, even less increase, bottom even less than that increase, and then we just trade in the smallest little area. I remember this time period very well. Very boring, the most boring period of crypto that I've ever experienced. About two months, September to November of 2018, nothing basically was happening with price. It was, I remember, I remember vividly everyone in the space being like, what is going on? Just absolutely nothing in terms of price action. You can just see how little it was. Um, look on the daily here. You can see you have almost two weeks of candles that uh, barely increased by like $50. So imagine Bitcoin not moving more than like $50 for almost two weeks. That's absolutely insane. Uh, very little price action. And then of course, all that consolidation leading into one of the biggest dumps in Bitcoin history here. Already Bitcoin being n very, very uh, depleted in terms of the price from 20,000 to 6,000. And then another huge move getting sliced right in half, 6,400 down to 3,200. So that consolidation leads into a big move. And again, we have to really wait for this to really play out more, but we see the consolidation, we see the pattern here, uh, and is that gonna lead to another break out? Uh, we could have a breakdown. I think that's less likely now, especially considering the macro trend of the market. I don't think we'll get that. I think it's more likely that we get a, a move up. But again, guys, so many people have been calling for pullbacks. I've been asking for them, um, and we get them occasionally. You see Litecoin, you know, go from 140 to 107 or 108 dollars. Um, Bitcoin did have an obvious nice pullback in about a day, 14k down to 10k. But really, nothing out of the ordinary. All very healthy pullbacks. Nothing uh, extreme at all. Because I think it's getting all bought up. It's all getting bought up. So yeah, let me know what you think. I think this is really big, and I think it's coming to the market. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, all the good stuff, and I'll see you in the next video.